to dump nuclear waste is, that's uncalled for. It has to go somewhere, but where Canada wants to put its radioactive material may be too close for comfort. It plans to bury it less than a quarter of a mile from Lake Huron, the source of drinking water for much of mid-Michigan, and soon for all of Genesee County. Sherry Hardman has the story. This is Pat Zott's favorite time of year. She gets to spend it fishing on Lake Huron in Port Sanilac. Probably be at least a couple times a week. Zott says there's nothing quite like being outdoors near the shore. The blue sky, the clean water, um, the good fish. So the idea of Lake Huron being contaminated by nuclear waste makes her mad. This is what Michigan's is supposed to be all about, about fishing and pure Michigan and to dump nuclear waste is that's uncalled for. But that's what could happen. Canadian officials have a proposal on the table to create a nuclear waste dump near the shore of Lake Huron, directly across the lake from residents of Clare, Sanilac, and Huron counties, part of State Senator Mike Green's district. We are the greatest natural resource attraction of any state in the nation. We sell more hunting license, fishing license, we have more people visit here on a regular basis than any other state in the nation. We don't want to lose that. 53,000 containers of nuclear waste would be buried less than a quarter mile from Lake Huron. Lawmakers here in Michigan say they want to make sure that one of Michigan's Great Lakes stays contamination free. So today Green along with other lawmakers met to discuss a plan of action. We know that it's been going on for a while mm -hmm. and they're going through the process in Canada but we just feel like it's about time that we got involved in it and uh, encouraged the folks here in Michigan to encourage our congressional delegation to take a look at it and say, is this really what our, we want our Great Lakes to do? Pat Zott says she hopes they are successful. I think it would be a disaster. In Port Sanilac, Sherry Hardman, Fox 66, News at 10.